You guys are familiar with my son Gus's room from working on his accent wall? Well, today we're gonna turn things around and work on his closet. Right now he has bifold doors, well, sort of. This one has already fallen off the track and he keeps pinching his fingers. So we're going to eliminate that headache by transforming these bifold doors into standard closet doors. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first step is to demo everything we no longer need. So I'm gonna take this bifold door off the track. Then I can remove all of the track hardware before removing the wood trim that covers up that track. Now we have at least three different kinds of bifold door systems in our house. So they're not all the same. So all you have to do is find which screws are attaching the track to the housing and unscrew those to loosen everything up. All right, this little guy was an impulse purchase, but now I can't live without it. Totally recommend if you have a lot of trim, especially trim that you want to reuse. It makes it so easy to get it off. Ooh, that should be the hardest part of the whole project. So let's bring the doors downstairs out to the carport to get them ready to hang. All right, I'm going to take off the old hinges that are holding the two pieces together so that I can drill pocket holes that will attach them together more seamlessly. All right, all the old hardware is removed. I'm ready to drill pocket holes with my jig. Oop, and there's a little sawdust left over from my last project. I'm just gonna drill pocket holes on one side of the door, just one door, tighten them together with some long screws, patch the holes, then you'll never know that they were ever two separate doors. I'm gonna add some wood glue between the two doors and then attach them with the pocket hole screws that have the flat heads and you use a special drill bit to attach them. I'm just going to scrape some of the old paint, putty these holes and the pocket holes and get everything 100% ready for paint. love using this water putty because it dries really hard so you're able to sand it down and get a really smooth flawless finish. Finally done with the hot work outside, letting the paint dry. But I'm gonna move inside to the air conditioning. Not gonna sit on my bum though. I'm going to get to work on the framing for the doors and get it ready to hang. And I'm just gonna mark a few spots along here, the thickness of my doors, which is an inch and an eighth. And then I'll install the doorstop along that line. All right, let's get this project finished up. I've got the trim in place, caulk, putty. I've painted everything. I've already installed one door, so let me show you how to install it when I do the other door. When you're working in an existing house like this, it's helpful to measure an old hinge and mark the same distance. That way it matches everything. 
I'm ready to install the doorknob and since this is for a closet, I'm using what's called a dummy knob so it only goes on the front. So I'm just gonna pop, and this is what I'm changing all of our door hardware to as I work my way around the house so it'll match. All right, now I'm going to install this ball and catch that will go in the trim on the top and this goes down in the door to help hold it closed. I don't have to worry about the kids pinching their fingers anymore. I got to reuse the old doors, which always brings me a lot of joy. They look good and they work. Now let's take a nap.